It's gonna get loud. Cool. It's gonna be all right. We did. Uh, we were talking with Blues Traveler a few weeks ago, like on their bus with the air conditioning and everything. It was fine. So, um, do you guys just want to introduce yourselves real quick? Yeah, I'm Mark. I'm the Haggis. I'm Brian. Also, we the Haggis. And you guys played last night here at the brewery. We did Saranac Thursdays. It was a serious party. It was uh, a good time. First time at the brewery, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. We just had the tour. Which is great. And you guys are doing the Irish Festival this weekend. Great American Irish Fest. We're uh, we're just enjoying a. A beer here at the brewery before we head over there, and then we're on uh, tonight. We're closing the show on Friday night, and tomorrow night we're playing, playing as well. Now you guys do. Uh, you're from Toronto yeah. area, and um, you guys do a lot of festivals, I'm sure. But do you also do? You, it sounds like you probably do clubs and stuff like yeah. that. Can you talk a little bit about the difference between playing fest the festival circuit and playing the club circuit? Sure. Uh, well, clubs. I mean, clubs a lot of times it's a ticketed event. Usually, we're the only ones on, so I mean, it's people coming to see us specifically. Um, as a festival, you, you know, it's a great way to get actual new fans because you can be coming for just for the fun of the festival or to, to see other bands and then get to see you as well. Um, and just, it's, it's great just to be other bands and stuff too, to have that kind of like, you feel like you're part of something bigger than just kind of cool doing shows night for night. Cool. Yeah, and it's cool because being in a band like ours, any, anything that's kind of Celtic themed, they, one of the big advantages of being in the niche is that there's always Irish bars, there's always pubs, there's always places where you can play on off nights. But it makes it weird because, you know, in any given week you can play like a sit-down performance theater and then an Irish pub and then a huge stage like here at the brewery and then another Irish pub and then a big festival and so your show kind of has to be fairly flexible and kind of adapt to, to that kind of thing. You guys have a preference? What do you, you know, in terms of if you could play one thing for the rest of your life, is it a festival gig? Is it a club gig? Or? I mean, for me, I love the festivals because they're outdoors and fresh air and big crowds and stuff. It brings its own kind of set of hassles and mm -hmm. short changeovers and sometimes you're not playing your own gear and Sometimes you got to sit around at a festival for 10 hours in a given day or something like that. So sometimes it's more work, but uh, I think I probably enjoy it more. It's just the social aspect of getting to meet other bands and hanging out with volunteers and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Is this your first time playing at a brewery? At a brewery? Like at a you know physical brewery. Yeah, yeah. Trevor and I did a gig at Moosehead Brewery up in Toronto, just like a corporate thing up there. I think that was the only time. When we played at the uh, the Owens, uh, we, we did a tour for our community. It wasn't a brewery, it was just their office. Alexander Keats, so and we played at their, their head office there, too. Cool. Cool. And um, I guess, I, I don't know, are you guys beer aficionados, or does Probably, it come with the territory, uh, you know, being on a Celtic circuit? Well, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, yeah, I don't know if, we, we got kind of spoiled because we did a couple of trips over to Germany, and uh, we're introduced to some of the best beers in the world over there, and uh, I think since then, we've, I mean, we've tried just about every kind of beer you can imagine. We definitely have our preferences, and I think we're probably more beer snobs than your average band can be. You travel the country, I mean, there's so many microbreweries and stuff too now that you get to try a lot of them. That's one of the things that I think, you know, we're trying to get people excited about uh, with Serenac, because it is a craft beer, and so that probably lends itself more to what you guys, um, you know. Um, so you guys went on the tour today. Uh, is this the, so yeah, you didn't take the brewery tour yesterday, you took it today. Yeah. Um, is, did you find that it was very, uh, you know, did you learn anything about it? It's very Absolutely. like, you know, kind of. There's a lot to to ingest. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's definitely. hard to comprehend. We're just talking about 15 swimming pools of boiling liquid above your head. Or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you're, taking, you're just trying to scare us. It'll take you 100 years, 10 pints a day to drink one of the bats. Or something like that, so. And who who took you guys around today? Was it that, did um, Meg or Nagel take you guys around? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so you had John. Yeah, the real deal. Yeah, yeah. John took. Here's Craig, by the way. Craig. <laughs> Cheers. What's going on? What are you drinking, Craig? I'm having the lager. The lager. Yes. Yeah, what are you guys Fantastic drinking? Stuff. I got the Black Forest. She's the lager as well. Awesome. Cool. I've had, uh, I think, one of everything at this point. <laughs> cool. What's I will favorite? say, we, uh, I don't know, I really do like the uh, the pomegranate wheat. I like that lager yesterday. I'm enjoying this. I haven't really, uh, I haven't really picked it. I'm not really a, a, a lemonade and beer kind of guy, so I've, I've stayed through it this summer. Have you guys so, done yeah. done straight wheat? Do you have a bison or anything like that yet? Um, yeah, we do. Yeah. Is that the hell? I will say, we've done the, the Dublin Brewery Tour in, in Dublin. Yeah, so the Guinness Brewery Tour in Dublin. Dublin. And I think I enjoyed this tour oh, today a lot more. We, it's kind of like an amusement park. Right? Yeah, I mean, like this felt like a real anything. living brewery, and that just felt like... This is a yeah. real brewery. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Like, just to, like, you guys have done this before. It's 
Yeah. And we got the behind the scenes tour too. He took us into the areas that got burnt out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna be uh, gonna be canning again very soon. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying. So uh, after the weekend, you guys are. We were talking a little bit earlier about what's next. What is next in terms of tour, and what is next in terms? I know you guys just put out a record. What's next in terms of records? Records, so we better start thinking about that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 March, so I mean, it's kind of our focus at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after the festival, you guys are home, and then you're going to focus on Canada for a little while. We got a show in uh, in Nova Scotia. We're going to try and do another Toronto show, uh, probably uh, later in the summer, early fall, September. Um, but mostly, uh, mostly it's the U.S. We got tons of festivals in the U.S. this year. Uh, we're doing the Philadelphia Folk Festival and some of those kind of bigger festivals. Plus, uh, we're, we're at the main lobster fest in Toronto next week, which means we get to eat lobster. Yeah. A different cultural experience, um, and uh, lots of lots of great festivals. Are mostly on the East Coast. We're going back out to California in uh, the fall. Last week, it was last week we were on Vancouver Island, uh, oh, cool. west coast of Canada. For a festival, a couple festivals, it was great, great cool. weekend. So, yeah, it was, yeah, it was just a couple. Little, it's the uh, season, probably, for festivals, I guess. Well, that's the thing. When you tour in festival season, it's really hard to. It's a lot of weekends because the, the festivals don't root together. Like one mm -hmm. weekend you're in California, then you're in Massachusetts, then you're, you know, so you yeah. hop all over the place. So you do, you do either fly dates or, or you drive. Or you don't go out for three months at a time in the summer like you do other times of the year. Cool. If we could get a steady gig here at the brewery, I mean, it would be kind of our dream job. I think, uh, judging by the reaction last yeah. night, people would not argue with that at yeah, all. That not at all. Yeah, um, you should make an official uh, every year pre-party for the... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. We'd love to have you. Yeah. So if people want to get more information about what you guys are doing, where you're going to be, where's the best place? Now you have a YouTube channel, but does everything stem off the website? It does. Or? It does. And uh, we do a couple of things that are kind of unusual. We, uh, I mean, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on MySpace, all those things. But we also, uh, as, as often as possible, usually only indoor gigs because we need Wi-Fi, but we, uh, we've got a Ustream TV thing. So we, uh, we stream our shows live, audio and video, on our website as often as possible. So if we're not playing in your town, you can always come to our website. Click on ETH TV and uh, watch the show. And there's a chat room there. You can interact with people from all over the world who are watching too. It's awesome. Cool. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for coming down, sharing a Saranac with us. Cheers. And uh, this is Enter the Haggis. Cheers. Watch. Cheers.